I need a toolbox in this truck. I had this tractor supply one in there. You know, I made it work for a few years, but this thing was just essentially made out of garbage. And I had this supported all the way in. I didn't have it crazy loaded, but look at that. That's just tin foil. So I've had this laying in my yard for like 10 years and it's a little messed up. It got a little melted one time when I, uh, right, right there. not crazy, but I had it too close to a fire once. Yeah, that's, that works. I'd like it if it was a lower profile, but... Oh, that's not bad. I need to... Oh, there it goes. All right. Is that gonna hit Mel? washer just falls off stuck that there then we put a washer on and it stays that again
seems heavy on there for some reason. I guess I can take some. Alright, so this has been clunking like when you let off the gas and get on the gas. Rear drive shaft here, you see. See that movement? It's a bad un universal joint. When you buy your sockets, make sure you don't get the 12 point ones. Those are garbage. Get the 6 point ones. Wow, is that tight? Extension out of here. I got the bigger battery. That's why we're changing this. Why is it getting stuck? Okay, I had this rebuilt in 2016. July 2016. I think they did it for free too. Because it's a Smith, I think they have lifetime warranties. Or Victor. Oxy should be green. That mark means reverse threads. And they do that so you can't mix up the oxygen and acetylene.
I'll cut this side off too, why not? There's little bearings in those, and if those get messed up, it's very easy to screw up this project. Very careful. This can go down in there. Okay. This one. It's very important, make sure these are in all the way. That needs to go down a little bit further, but I don't quite have it. Press it up without that thing on the bottom.
Don't ruin that cap. You know, usually when I do this job, I buy two U-joints because I always ruin one of those caps. It's got to go down. They never go down enough. Yeah, it needs a hair more. All right, so that's on the stiff side right there. A little worried about that, but all the clips are in all the way and it's certainly nothing loose about it. So you can see how you know this side moves. There's no slop in that, so that's good. What you got there, buddy? Can I see that? Can I see the Frisbee? Can I see it? Hold on, let me have it. I'll throw it. If you give it to me, I can throw it. Blue, get the Frisbee. Get that frizzy right there, Blue. Yes. Oh, oh, I got it. I got the frizzy. Nope, nope, we do not strip them. Let's get this down so there's more room. <sighs> See, that's how it Make sure it starts like that. Should go in easy. started before tightening anything.
All right, and that's new U joint, no slop. That's good. And while the truck's up on the lift, just do a kind of general inspection of everything. Look for cracked springs, leaking shocks, anything else falling off. Any grease fittings on this? So these are tight. <laughs> Doing some maintenance and tire chains here. So this is broken and that repair didn't hold up. So I'm just gonna try to weld these. I had these overloaded the other day, but they just have these little C-clips that were on here. And look, they both just blew, look at that. All right, I've been driving the truck a few miles and uh, you know, the U-joint feels fine. Before it was very noticeable when you'd accelerate and then just slightly let off the gas, you'd hear like a clunk and it was kind of frustrating. Now it's, you know, like I'm off the gas, on the gas, off the gas, completely smooth. Pulled over here to check it. All right, yeah, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like crazy hot. It's a touch warm, not even really. That's cold. That one's a drop warm, but all right, I feel good about that repair. Here's my pile right here. Check these out. Look at that. That's pretty nice. I got these things. Slings. Let's fix that. Certain little puppy. Who are you? buddy blue do you know anything about this right did you shoot that wire done being a puppy and doing stuff like that right all right let's go fix our cordless remote Are we, is this because of you?
Slid over it. All right, I don't love how it got covered with tape, but that should be fine. Let's fix this. glue that was just stuck in there to begin with all right blue you're not gonna chew that again right
That looks safe, right? Let's go. Come on. Come on.
Okay, a couple things on the inside here. This radio I put in worked for a while. All right. I was teaching someone how to drive standard. She stalled the truck, radio stopped working, and then it kept like resetting constantly, and it was really bright, so I uh, made it not do that anymore. I didn't like this one. It didn't work very well. Even when it did work. money hopefully that translates to not a piece of junk like you may get lucky here All right, the same oh yeah look at that hopefully the <laughs> pins do the same things I'm going to say the wires are right. That saves a ton of time. gonna work because it puts it at the wrong angle. Make a bracket. So four by Cody, is it snowing? Alright. Yeah that's a piece of my old toolbox. Let's try not to drop more. And here. Is there a frisbee right there? Would, it, would this would that be a frisbee? I mean you have to have that frisbee. There's there's like four more out there buried in the snow. There it goes. That looks way better. Okay. Alright. All right, just hammer in the sharp corners to make the job professional. Brand new radio. How exciting. How does it work? This on here? That doesn't need that. 
initial setup. All right, like I'm all right with that as long as it doesn't do this again. Come on, no 96.9? All right, 101.1, that's a good one. Oh, you skipped it. No, we don't pass it. All right. Check out this other thing I got here. Let's clean off this dash. So the issue is here, the dashboards and these dodges are made out of like plastic where the sun ruins it or something happens to them where it gets extremely brittle. And that looks a little bit bad. I think we got a solution. Look at that, that is professional. Hmm, let's just clean some stuff and this is nice in here now. All right, it's got this microphone. Might as well hook it up, that's easy. Okay, so you go. Mic right there. Like they want you to glue this on, but usually whenever you're gluing something together, it means you're not putting it together very good. Where it's supposed to be. Look at that. So much better. That's see, see how that's like right there. All right, check that out. That is a luxurious truck right now.
if a certain silver lab knows anything about that. Those chew marks in that. This one a drop, but that was like hard plastic. Cody and Blue. Oh, you guys are right there. Look at you. Did you guys find more deer bones? Okay, Blue. Blue, you done? You know about this, Blue? They went. I just watched on the the dog collar app. They went for a long walk, but they're up in the woods. I'm like, all right, they're far away, but they're fine there. And they found a bone. I just had all those radiators put in this spot. One thing here looks at you hear that sound around like 12 psi boost. I think there's a loose clamp or something. Clamp is completely loose. It makes turning, but it's not actually getting tighter. Then not stripped. I got the nut off. It was stripped out to match it up. There's a quarter inch fine. The threads mesh up perfectly, and it's the same diameter. You can just tell the um, threads are a little messed up in that. Compared, compared to a new one. Couldn't get the nut started. in this clamp. You know, they should have put new hardware on this thing. The dog collar app. Blue is just crazy far away. And you came back. Good boy, Blue. That was very far away for you to be, though. Let's see if Cody comes back, because he's currently far away still. You abandoned your friend. You couldn't talk him into coming back? I think that was the issue. Okay, is Cody walking towards us? He is visiting Mimsy. Cody! I had to go get Cody. Were you not gonna come back? I waited and he started going further away. I had to go get you. This hasn't been running perfect. I had a weird idle.
a little better. Buddy, where's your frisbee? Go get your frisbee. Bring your frisbee. I think there's another frisbee. Where's the other one? Ooh, where's the frisbees? I don't like here is how that hose clamp is hitting that washer tank. That's going to put a hole in that. cleaner the seats look after shampooing them this thing feels like a new truck with this dash look how nice that looks radio's working good nice and clean in here what do you guys think so now when i get up to was about yep that sound is gone you know what the boost seems to build quicker too yeah it doesn't you know why because it was leaking before all right, at least that clamp fixed that sound. What's this? What's this, buddy? What's that right there? Ready? gap right here is a little a bit much. Latches. You were missing when I got this truck and I ordered the wrong year. Yeah, look how much longer that is. look like that m10 by 1.5 1 yeah that's it you can tell when they sink in like that
that's latched on both sides. Let me just drop more. Slides up. That's looking good. So this toolbox has been nice and all, but you gotta open it. It just does that. So plus these hinges kind of broke. Let's, let's change these things. Hopefully that fixes it. Well, that kind of works. Look at the hinges here. So you can see that just broke off of there. It's just junk plastic. That will never work. So. Has anyone else been having issues with buying products lately where you buy something and it breaks immediately? That's been way too common for me lately. So it's pretty frustrating. This was used, but still like that design is complete garbage. Like that's just thin plastic. You know, of course it's gonna break. So let's try to do something fixing this for free. Just add the hole. Can I put a hole to that? No. I'm trying a new tool here. So this is a induction heater that heats up. It's meant to heat up bolts, but
Oh, this is stainless steel. That does nothing to stainless steel. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess it wouldn't do anything to stainless steel because it's non-ferrous. Okay. Catch on both sides. What is going on? latched on both sides on latches all right cool that's let's stop messing with it because it's working anyone can recommend a toolbox that is actually going to stay working like for for people who actually use a truck toolbox meaning heavy stuff is in it bouncing around off-road while heavy cargo is also hitting it and it doesn't break for no reason
All right, so after doing all these repairs here, this truck's working good. I did another video covering installing that bumper. Happy with how that turned out. Look for that video soon. And I've got plenty of jobs lined up for this truck this year. So hopefully this thing, I mean, luckily somehow this truck isn't rusted out. So it's got 250 on it, but the thing, you know, the diesel engine and standard, those are pretty desirable options. Um, definitely want to try to keep this truck around forever. And it's got the short cab. It's a lot of these trucks are hard to, it's hard to find like that. All right, well, let's uh, get right to work. <laughs> 